Hi, I'm Lewis Beer, co-owner of Fit Gym and Personal Training. We put together a segment called Fit For You, where we'll be sharing tips, information, and secrets on health and fitness. We want to provide you with information that's going to help you get the most out of your time in the gym and help you create a healthier body. This week, I want to talk to you about shoulders. Shoulders can be a very tricky joint. There's a lot of muscles and ligaments that go into making your shoulder pain-free. I'm sure you or someone you know has had shoulder pain at some time or another. Many of these injuries are preventable. They're preventable through training properly and through including injury prevention exercises in your workouts. One of the main reasons that we might feel some pain in our shoulders is an imbalance through certain muscles within and around the shoulder. There's a trend among people who go to the gym to only train the muscles that you can see in the mirror. So maybe big chest muscles, big shoulder muscles, big neck muscles, that type of thing. But what ends up happening are smaller muscles get missed. Stuff like the rotator cuff. It's a bunch of muscles that are in your shoulder, four of them that help support it. And then there's the muscles that go beyond your back like that through your scapula, that big bone that you feel back there. So what happens is those big muscles get overtrained and the small muscles that support and stabilize your shoulder, they get missed. And that's a big problem. When doing those muscle groups that you see in the mirror, your shoulders are forced to move in certain directions. As well, people usually have kind of poor posture. So those two factors can also really influence how your shoulders feel and how they move. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to show you two exercises that can really help stabilize that shoulder joint. So the first one, we're gonna grab a weight, and I would usually start with a little bit less than you think you can do with this one, okay? It's called the trap three raise, and it's gonna help support the back of our shoulder. So this one, I'm gonna go my right forearm on the bench. My forehead is gonna go down onto my forearm. My left leg is gonna go back, and it'll be nice and straight through my back. I'm gonna start with the weight hanging straight down. Then I'm gonna pull my shoulder blades back together, come up with the weight, and then down for five seconds. And then reset. Shoulders come together, weight goes up, and then I'm down for five, four, three, two, one. And what I'm gonna do is about eight for each arm on that one, okay? So remember, this is really important to go down for five seconds. You wanna control it down. Up nice and quickly and control down. The second one, I'm just going to move the bench. I'm going to be sitting on the bench. So this one, we're going to be doing external rotations, so moving our shoulder back. So we have all this roundness from being in poor posture all the time, so we're going to bring that back, open up our chest a little bit, bring our shoulder back, strengthen it back to where it should be. So I'm going to sit here, legs about 90 degrees, and then this little muscle right here, I'm going to put my elbow right on it and have my weight in that hand. The angle of my elbow is gonna stay the same throughout this exercise. So I'm not gonna go this way, I'm not gonna go this way. It's gonna go straight down. So we're coming down this way, again for five seconds, and then popping it back up. So five, four, three, two, one, and then coming back right up to where we started. Again, going down slowly is really, really important, okay? So those two exercises are great for stabilizing the shoulder and getting them back to where they should be and making it so that when you do those big muscle groups, your shoulders are supported.